when you hear generative ai what's the first thing that pops into your mind maybe it's chat gpt maybe it's one of those incredibly realistic ai generated images that's been doing rounds on the internet but that's not all generative ai is making serious waves across all sorts of media in this video we'll take a closer look at the amazing things people are creating with ai and try to get an intuition of how they work and also discuss about what might be possible in the future could ai one day compose entire songs or maybe make entire movies which become blockbuster hits the possibilities are quite exciting but also a little bit scary let us first talk about the different modalities in generative ai one is text to text where you give a text input and then expect a text output there is text to image there is text to video and even text to audio and there are other modalities where images are given as input it's like image to image you give an image and then ask to make it into a different style there is also multimodal ai which means that we can give any sort of input like maybe a text input or maybe an image input and get any sort of output we won't go into depth about multimodal ai right now we'll talk about these individual modalities one by one image audio and video let's take image generation first as you can see these images are quite realistic and amazing and these ones are created by midjourney there is also dali and several other softwares and even free ones on the internet right now where you can generate your own images just from text data let us explore one of those first this is not the best one but it still does the job let us try a simple prompt kitten playing guitar let's try this and it works quite nice you might be wondering how this works Let's try to get a brief idea of how this works. I won't go into the depth or the mathematics of it, but I'll try to get you an idea of how this works. Let me introduce you to the class of models called diffusion models. The diffusion in diffusion models has quite the literal meaning. Let me give you an example. If you take some water and put a drop of ink into it, it diffuses, right? It spreads in the water. And this is the diffusion process. but it is quite irreversible in the real world you cannot get the ink drop back once it diffuses out our aim here is to diffuse an image out by adding noise to it such that it becomes completely saturated just like how the ink completely diffuses into the beaker the image becomes complete noise and once it is complete noise we try to generate the image back from the noise and once you have the noise you can even add other context to it i'll get into that later let me take you through this step by step initially we have a complete image and our first job is to convert it into complete noise the added noise will be calculated throughout steps it can be 100 steps or 1000 steps and the type of noise added is gaussian noise that means there's a particular distribution gaussian noise is based on a normal distribution which you might know about otherwise understand that it is a particular distribution of noise such that a particular mean is set so if the mean is changed the type of noise added will also change and just using the mean and the variance parameters we can understand what noise is being added so if i take a completely intact image and add one step of gaussian noise and i state the parameters like the mean and the variance if i know the mean and the variance i can generate the old image back from that quite easily so how do we generate the image back from it during training our target is to just predict the next step the next step towards generating a clean image so once you have complete noise over there and for the previous step the only thing you have to generate is the difference between the complete noise and one step prior to it and for that you only have to predict the noise which was created in that step and similarly in the final step the final step is just the clear image with some noise added one step of noise added if you have that and then you want to predict the final image the only thing which you have to predict is just the noise which is added in that step we do that using kl divergence in mathematical terms if there's a distribution p and q kl divergence is simply stated as the difference between these two distributions so if we train the model such that it minimizes the kl divergence 
that also means the model is really good at predicting the next step at each step in the training the model gets better and better at predicting the next step and finally the final generated output typically this denoising is done using a unit which is a convolutional neural network how a convolutional neural network or a cnn works is out of scope for this video but i'll give you a fair bit of idea even in our brains it works in a similar manner when you think about somebody's face it doesn't mean that each pixel value of that face is stored in your head rather there's a complete understanding of that face and that takes very less space and that can be told as the latent representation a similar thing happens here in this approach called stable diffusion there is an encoder and a decoder what the encoder does is it takes the high resolution image then transforms it into a latent space which is the compressed or transformed space which still holds all the context of the original image and from there we can decode it into the original image back and once it is in the latent space an additional advantage is that we can add textual context or any other type of context to the latent space let me give you a better idea using an example let's say we have an image of a kitten which you transformed into a latent space or a representation now using text we add the representation of a guitar and we concatenate or like add it to the representation of the kitten in the latent space now in our latent space or representation we have the kitten and the guitar to help you visualize this better if i ask you to imagine your friend's face with sunglasses how do you do that you have your friend's face as a representation in your head and also you know what sunglasses are and that also has a representation in your head so you bring both of those together and now you have a final image a similar thing happens here in the latent space the representation of the guitar is added along with the representation of the kitten and in the denoising convolutional network it is slowly denoised such that the context still remains and the final hd output is obtained that is a brief overview of how diffusion models image generation or stable diffusion works if you wish to learn more about diffusion models i'll leave a link in the description now let's get into the next step which is video generation you must have already seen generated video circulating on the internet let me show you some nonetheless in open ai sora model even animated videos or realistic videos of people are so great this also makes me wonder since these small clips are possible why not entire movies the only bottleneck here currently is the compute that means that to generate all of these videos it requires a lot of compute and energy maybe in the future that gets even more optimized and the possibilities become endless let me give an example we can generate an entire movie just using ai we won't be giving a prompt to generate a movie but rather we'll use ai agents how ai agents work is also dedicated for a later part in this course but i'll give you a glance of how it works so for a movie you need several different parts like you need a script you need some kind of direction you need all of these sequences you need a screenplay you can't just ask one ai to do all of that but you can assign roles you can have one ai generate the script which is possible using chat gpt or gpt4 we can ask them to generate a small script for a skit they will do that for you and you have already seen that small clips are being generated and with the right prompt ai can also possibly direct movies even though it is okay to be skeptic if they'll do a great job at it but all of these pieces together can create a team just like how a team in any company works that each of the ai agents are allowed small roles and there is another agent which oversees all of it and then a movie can be created or even better than a movie it can be an unlimited series imagine you have one episode which you already saw and then you can give a certain feedback and the next episode will be tailored to you so it can be the same series and it can have different episodes for each of the viewers quite fascinating and it is quite possible theoretically as well video generation works in a similar manner as image generation using diffusion models and transformers which we will get into later in this course the main difference in video generation being the addition of time instead of creating one still frame we need to create a lot of interconnected images which are also coherent now if we generate a movie we will also need sounds right let's get into audio generation there are a lot of avenues in audio generation as well it can be text to speech 
it can be voice cloning which you might have seen that celebrity voices are being cloned or they are made to sing or speak any text which the user provides i want to show you something more interesting and more recent this is a website called suno.com and they are creating entire songs you can also create songs just by prompting you can give a song theme or like what the song is about you can even provide the lyrics you can even suggest the genre of the song pop rock or whatever let me play this for you If you go back a few years and ask AI experts will AI be able to create music that will rival human creators most of them would disagree but as you can see this is so good that I'm sure if I asked one of my musician friends if this is generated by AI or human and if it is not revealed that it is generated by AI they will have a very difficult time telling it apart this also raises a lot of ethical questions like who has the right to this music is it stolen from some other artist or will they take creators jobs now we have covered images video and audio in the upcoming video we'll talk about large language models and focus mainly on the text which is the backbone of all of these models and with multimodal ai we can also generate all of these other modalities like video audio and images using a text model like chat gpt allows you to generate images just by using text prompt we will also get into how to design these models and how ai agents work and also other concepts like transformers i would like to leave you with a thought generated ai content is being accelerated there is a lot of ai generated content right now in 10 years do you think ai generated content will be more than human generated content and what do you think will be the implications of that in the society feel free to comment and then let me know